Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, so here we are again with video number three of four related to uh, Huck's Pop Culture Cafe Challenge. This is a Desert Island Movies Challenge. Uh, I've posted two videos already. One is to do with the A to Z list of movies that you would take to a desert island. Uh, the second one was to do with uh, films that represent 25 actor choices that you would take to a desert island. And now this video is going to be the 25 actress choices um, to take to a desert island. And uh, keep in mind as well with, the, with this challenge is that you cannot use the same film twice. Um, so there's that. And there's also going to be an ensemble pick at the end. Um, as before, my sister has also taken part in this. She doesn't have any physical media, so she's just... Uh, left to her own devices to come up with uh, films that she'd like to take and then I just look to see if I have them in my collection so I'll go through those after I've gone through mine um, but yeah check out the challenge on Huck's Pop Culture Cafe if you haven't seen it already um, I'm sure you probably have um, but uh, yeah here we go with uh, the choices and so no particular order here um, I'll start with some Laserdisc titles that I've got um, so first up I'm going to go for a uh, great actress from the 40s mainly, Barbara Stanwyck in Billy Wilder's fantastic double indemnity. Um, being able to uh, go through all that dialogue, uh, quick-witted, snappy pace, it's a fantastic uh, performance in that. Her and Fragment Murray are really, really good. Uh, next up, really uh, excellent performance from Linda Fiorentino, and I'm choosing The Last Seduction cracking film. Uh, next I've chosen uh, Jean de Florette already in my A to Z choices and uh, I think my sister chose Gerard Depardieu in, her, in the actor choice uh, but I've got to have the follow-up film so I've gone for Emmanuel Bayard in Manon de Source, Manon of the Spring. Uh, really superb film. And next, uh, the great Michelle Pfeiffer. I did want to choose um, Fabulous Baker Boys, but I chose Jeff Bridges on the actor's choice. Uh, so I've gone for her in Married to the Mob. Okay, now on to my DVDs. Uh, next, child actress who uh, has just been a wonderful person throughout her career and uh, enjoyed loads of her films. Uh, but this one particularly from childhood, Hayley Mills, in Whistle Down the Wind. Uh, next, this is an actress. Uh, I perhaps would have chosen other films of hers, uh, but I don't actually have them in my collection. So the one I do have in my collection for the great actress Marion Cotillard is La Vie en Rose. Uh, now next, uh, Yasujiro Ozu films are just beautiful films to watch. And there's an actress that he works with a lot Setsuko Hara, who just seems to be like the kindest person that you would ever meet. Uh, and she's just a wonderful person to watch in his films. So that's Setsuko Hara, and I've chosen The End of the Summer. The End of Summer, sorry about that. Uh, next up, I've gone for Julie Christie, and uh, a bit more David Lean. I've chosen her performance in Dr. Zhivago. Uh, next, we're going with Jean-Luc Godard's muse, Anna Karina, and I've chosen Piero Le Fou. Uh, next, a uh, really fine uh, actress who was in some fantastic films, mainly in the 80s and uh, 90s. Um, but yeah, Deborah Winger, and I've gone for Terms of Endearment. Uh, next. Uh, another great actress, Deborah Carr. Lots of choices I could have chosen here, uh, but this is a kind of a fond favourite one. Uh, I've gone for her performance opposite Robert Mitchum in Heaven Knows, Mr. Allison. Uh, next, Nicole Kidman. Um, so many great films that she's made, uh, but yeah, this is a great atmospheric film and good for this time of year, October. I've chosen her in The Others. Uh, next, one of the best actresses from recent years, and I really love this film, Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn. Uh, next, uh, yeah, this actress is just, uh, 
I never used to particularly like her too much, but uh, in more recent years, I've watched lots of her musicals and just uh, really find her delightful. Um, but yeah, this one particularly is really colourful. It's got great Bob Fosse um, choreography. Um, and yeah, it's Doris Day in the pyjama game. Uh, next, uh, an actress who might not have necessarily a great body of work in terms of uh, film career, uh, but her performance in this is so memorable, and it's Mary Tyler Moore in Ordinary People. Uh, next up, I've gone for a, a great actress, Simone Signore, uh, and I've got her in a few films like uh, The Widow Kudirk, uh, but this is a real classic, Room at the Top. Next, is it possible to have an actress's list without Meryl Streep? Um, so I guess not in mine. Um, so I've gone for her performance in Out of Africa. Uh, next up, uh, she's so good in the Superman films as Lois Lane, have to include her here. Margot Kidder, and I've gone for Superman 2. Uh, next. Emily Blunt, uh, what an actress she is over the last few years. Been in some fantastic films. Um, but yeah, my choice for her here, I've gone for Sicario. Uh, next up, another great actress, um, Julianne Moore. And I've gone for her in Far From Heaven. Uh, next, worked with Hitchcock a lot. And uh, just beautiful and graceful. It's Grace Kelly in Rear Window. Uh, next up, uh, unforgettable performance in this, Jodie Foster in The Silence of the Lambs. Uh, next, okay, this might, she might not be on most people's best actresses list. Um, she's not really on mine, but nonetheless, I want to give some love uh, for this film because she did have a difficult time making it under difficult circumstances. Um, and it's a lot of fun actually to watch. I've gone for Tanya Roberts in Sheena. Uh, next, an actress I really like, um, who's been in film since childhood and the Twilight movies and uh, a lot more since then and some great dramas, really wide career she's had so far. But yeah, I've gone for Kristen Stewart in Personal Shopper. And back to the classics, I've uh, got to include the great Catherine Hepburn. She's been in so many good films, but here I've gone for her David Lean role in Summertime. And then finally onto the ensemble pick, uh, a film here. So the ensemble pick is a, a film that has a group of actresses in it. Um, now this is a film that uh, isn't really spoken of much, uh, but it's directed by John Gilliman, who did uh, is best known for the Towering Inferno and King Kong and things of that nature. But uh, yeah, this is one of his early f British films uh, and it's uh, about a group of uh, shop working women and um, the various things that are happening in their lives. Really good film and it's The Crowded Day. Okay, so now moving on to my sister's choices. Um, so like I say, she's had a infinite pick of movies to choose from because she's not looking at physical media, but I've just gone to see if I have actually have her selections in my collection. Um, so I'll start with the movies that I don't have uh, in my collection. She's gone for Amy Adams in Big Eyes. Uh, she's gone for Sally Hawkins in The Shape of Water. I don't have that. And she has gone for Michelle Pfeiffer in One Fine Day and she has also gone for Octavia Spencer in Hidden Figures. I love that movie but I don't have it. Um, and her ensemble pick I also don't have. Um, I might as well mention that now. Uh, it's the Greta Gerwig version of Little Women. Okay but moving on to the films I do have uh, that she selected. Um, I'll go through those now. So she has gone for Meg Ryan in Sleepless in Seattle. She's gone for a young Heather O'Rourke in the classic Poltergeist. She's gone for Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. She's chosen Margot Robbie in I, Tonya. The beautiful Kate Hudson in Almost Famous. Uh, she's also chosen a Doris Day pick. Uh, she's gone for Doris Day in 
Calamity Jane. She's gone for Sally Field in Forrest Gump. And she's chosen Leslie Carone in Daddy Longlegs. Uh, she's also chosen Emily Blunt. I went for Sicario. She's gone for A Quiet Place. Uh, great film I need to rewatch. She's chosen Julie Walters in Educating Rita. She's gone for Glenn Close in The Great Dangerous Liaison. Uh, she's chosen Charlize Theron in Mad Max Fury Road. And Daisy Ridley in The Force Awakens. Uh, she's also gone for Renee Zellweger in Bridget Jones's Diary, as well as Deborah Carr. I chose Heaven Knows Mr. Allison. She's gone for An Affair to Remember. Barbara Streisand up next. She's chosen The Way We Were. And she's also chosen Grace Kelly. I went for Rear Window. She's chosen To Catch a Thief. And Natalie Wood up next. And she's gone for The Great West Side Story. And Emma Stone in The Help. And then her final choice, Audrey Hepburn in The Nun Story. Ta-da! So there we go. Those are all the choices for uh, 25 actresses and films to represent them. Um, so yeah, I hope you like those choices. Let me know what you think. Um, at the moment, not many people finding my channel, and that's fair enough because I haven't really posted much over the last few years. And as you can tell, I'm not exactly a YouTube natural. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. So I will be doing another one relating to Hux Pop Culture Cafe, uh, which is the 25 directors. I've got the list sorted out for that, so uh, I'll be posting that one soon. And then that'll be all of that finalized, and then we'll move on to some other things. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I say, do have a go at looking at the challenges yourself. And uh, there's certainly other people that have been doing these um, challenges. Uh, like I've said before, people such as, go and check out their channels, KB Loves Movies, 20th and 21st Movies, Convicted Cinephile, Basement Blues, Mid-Level Media, uh, and a few others. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks very much if you've watched this far and uh, see you again, bye.